Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Valentine's Day is coming up, honey. So, I came up with this look, the classic pink cut crease, but I added a glitter wing and I'm like, I'm loving this look. So, if y'all love it too, keep on watching to see how I get this look, honey. Okay, you guys, starting off with the usual, priming my eyes with LA Girls Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And I did my eyebrows and the other eye off camera. Now I'm going to take my finger to blend out that concealer as a beauty blender takes away from the product. So now I'm setting my eyelid with a translucent powder. This is from Airspin. And I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush just to pat that in to or pat it onto my eyes I don't swipe the powder on because you're basically just dusting it over the eye now going in with this light pink shade I don't know the name of this palette as the name of the palette got rubbed off this palette was given to me by a friend so I don't know the name of the palette, but I'm taking that on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and applying that to my crease. Now going in with a darker pink shade, uh, any pink shade would do. You don't necessarily have to have the same shades that I do. Just find something as close as possible to the ones that I have. And I am taking that on Morphe's G13 blending brush and applying that to the crease and the outer V of my eyes. Now going in with a clean blending brush. This is from the BH Cosmetics pa uh, not palette. The BH Cosmetics brush set. And I'm just in making sure I blend out those harsh edges and blend the colors together. Now it's time to cut the crease. And I'm going back in with LA Girls Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And I'm gonna cut my crease halfway, not fully, because this is a half cut crease. And I'm using a angled brush to do this as it is more precise and I find it easier to use a angled brush. Now taking Maybelline The Needs palette and I'm taking that cream shade. This palette does not come with names so I'm just pretty much explaining it as I see it and you guys could see what I'm using so just find a shade that is close to the ones that I'm using or if you do have the palette go ahead and use that as well. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This is also from the BH Cosmetics brush set. And applying that to my lids. Now going back in with that Morphe G13 brush to blend out the edges of that cut crease. I did my wing liner off camera. I find it hard to do it on camera so... I did it off camera, but I came back to do the glitter. So I am taking Duo's Lash Glue. Yes, this is Lash Glue. I don't have um, glitter primer, so I use Lash Glue. I use what I got, okay? Don't judge me. But I'm taking that glue and applying it all over the wing. I, The only part of the wing I do not apply the glue 
is the very inner corner of my eyes because the glitter will irritate my eyes so I took it as close as I possibly could without causing irritation to my eye now going in this with what am I saying going in with this loose glitter um, I don't remember where this is from but I ordered this online and I'm taking a angled brush to apply the glitter wherever I I'm just saying a whole bunch of wrong stuff today. I'm applying the glitter wherever I put the duo lash glue. Using the angle brush gives a more precise application. So well, you don't have to do this, but this is how I do what I do. I ain't no pro, but I'm just sharing with you guys what I do. So if this helps somebody. Tools to you. You want to work quickly with applying the glitter as the glue does dry quickly. So work as fast as you possibly can when applying the glitter. And you have a whole lot of fallout so good luck cleaning that up now time for my foundation routine and I am priming my face with Mary Kay's foundation primer and I am applying that pretty much all over my face but mostly in my under eye, my forehead, and my nose, as those are the areas where I tend to get creasing and oily. Now, going in with my Mary Kay Liquid Matte Foundation, and I am taking that on a Real Techniques buffing brush and just buffing that into my skin. Be sure to bring the foundation down to your neck because you don't want your face and your neck to be two different colors. Now going back in with Ellie Girls Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn to highlight my under eyes, my nose, my cupid's bill, uh, my chin, and my forehead. Now I'm taking a Sephora foundation brush and blending out that concealer. It is a foundation brush, but I use it to blend out my concealer. I don't like the way this applies my foundation, so I rather using a fluffy brush or a beauty blender. But this is just my preference. Y'all could go ahead and use it if y'all want to, but I like it. I don't like how it applies my foundation. Now 
and going back in with that buffing brush that I used to apply my foundation and I'm just using that to blend out the edges of that highlighting concealer just to make sure I have a smooth blend and no harsh edges now taking Sasha buttercup powder to set my highlighted areas and I am applying that powder also to my smile lines as I tend to crease there a lot so I am making sure I set that in place before it starts to crease on me and I want there to be highlighted as well so I set that area with the Sasha Buttercup powder. Now going in with my Shading and strobing palette from Absolutely New York. And I'm taking the darkest contour shade in that palette to contour my cheekbone, my jawline, my forehead, uh, my nose. Yeah, I got it back this time. <laughs> I usually struggle with figuring out the names for those areas, but guess what? I did it this time. Now I'm mixing the two contour shades in the palette as I don't want my nose contour to be too harsh. So in order to get a nice blend, I just mix those two colors together. Now to blend out my contour, I'm using a powder brush from the BH Cosmetics palette. And you want to make sure you blend this contour out because you don't want those harsh lines on your face. Now setting the rest of my face and also blending all those lovely shades together I'm using a powder brush from Mary Kay and also to help blend blend the rest of powders and to set the rest of my face I'm using Mary Kay's mineral foundation powder I switched brushes just to make sure I could get under my eyes. Now going in with this black eyeliner pencil from Black Radiance to line my lower waterline. I'm taking a small detailer brush from Real Techniques and I am applying that dark pink, the second pink shade that I used. Um, that brush wasn't doing, cutting it for me so I went in with a precise crease brush from the BH Cosmetics brush set just to apply that pink shade on my lower lash line. To smudge out that shade and to even apply more of that pink shade, I went in with a smudger brush from the BH Cosmetics Brush Set. Now for my lower lashes, I am going in with this mascara called Fox Lashes and this is by NYX. The brush is super small so it grabs my lashes because Jesus forgot to bless me with lower lashes. So I gotta use all those cosmetics tools to give me a little lashes, okay. I 
I know I ain't the only one with this problem. I almost forgot to highlight my brow bone, you guys. But this highlight that I'm using is from the Mary Kay at Play palette. This is from the eyeshadow trio that I used in my last video, the Versace video. So you could go check that video out to get the name of this palette. Now going in with Mary Kay's highlight and blush duo. This is in the shade Guava. And I'm just applying the blush to my cheeks. And I'm using ABH Cosmetics blush brush to apply that. Now going in with my Fenty highlight, honey. And I'm highlighting my cheekbones, my forehead, my keep a spill, my chin, and the bridge of my nose. The usual. You want to be sure to blend that highlight out because you don't want to go outside looking like a streak globe. And all this highlight was just with one swatch, you guys. One swatch. So a little of this highlight goes a long way. Now it's time for the lips. And I am going in with Mary Kay's. This is actually a brow pencil, but I couldn't find my brown lip liner, so I used what I could find. And this is a. Um, what's the name of this again? Man, I don't remember the name. I always forget the name of something. But I'm just using that brown liner to line my lips to prepare for the pink shade. And this lip color is liquid. This is a liquid lipstick from NYX. You guys like like, I'm not about to list all these products in the description, but just screenshot the products because I did show you guys the names of them. And taking this pink gloss from Victoria's Secret. I got this a while back, so I'm not sure if they still have this, but any gloss will do. Now to set my face, I am using NYX matte finish spray and that is it for the look guys okay you guys so this is the finished look and thank you guys for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment and share and i'll catch you guys in the next one